Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and continue. We just finished blowing that tree down. And now there's a puzzle piece right after that. And back up into the puzzle area. And we can look and see where it can be added. Interesting. So this one's going to end up going over here, but we just can't place it right now because we need to get over to this. So we're going to leave everything where it is for now, and then we're going to go ahead and keep going. If you can see on the screen, let's just let that focus in a bit. You'll notice that the map here doesn't attach. It's like it shows you that you can go in this direction, but then once you hit this direction, there's nowhere to go to, right? So, once the pieces are all in their proper spots, then those lines will all add up to where they need to be. So, we're just going to go ahead and go back now. Alright. And we can't go any further this way. <coughs> And we're going to take the exclamation, the question mark, and take it away because we've now done this one. So let's just keep going. Okay, make that come up, and keep going, alright, so we want to keep going in this direction because we have our question marks up there. Going okay, so here's the tree. We're gonna make it appear. And <coughs> all right. So this is a fighting ability for the caterpillar guy. And remember, take the question mark and put it away. Otherwise, you're going to sit there going, oh, I missed one, and come all the way back for absolutely no reason. So, we keep going, and we turn into this, and we're going to rewind. And jump up. Alright, so now apparently he has something that he can do here because he has the exclamation. So let's try fast forward. Nothing happens. Let's try to rewind. Try again. Ah, uh, okay. So, it brings this um, piece of stick up here. So right now we need it to disappear for a minute. And then we're going to use him so that we can float upwards. 
Now we're going to change back to this guy and hit the fast forward. Alright, that isn't working. <coughs> Let's try this again. Alright, so this one and rewind. Oh, see, we've run out of the power. Alright, we're gonna go find some grass here. Okay, keep waiting. We forgot Alice. Okay, I remember what to do now. Sorry guys, that kind of took me a while to register the brain again. So, we're going to go ahead and grow the vine. Then, we're going to turn into the caterpillar. We're going to float upwards. It's going to stop us on the vine. And then we can walk across. Sorry guys, I just don't know why I couldn't think of that. So hit the button, hit again, go across, and there's a treasure chest. So all of that, just for a colorful bonus picture. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take our exclamation mark and take that off. Now, we've hit all the exclamation marks on the screen. We've gotten all the puzzle pieces that are on this level. There's no um, shield or armor pieces, but we are missing the one um, treasure chest, which is down at this end that we can't get to yet. So we're gonna come back and do that later. So we're gonna go ahead and cross back over. And float and get across. Now let's look at the map and see where we want to be going. So the map here tells us that this is where the Mad Hatter is. This is where we want to go. So we want to go through the spade door. So let's keep going in this direction towards the spade door. Again, rewind, fast forward. Oh, we forgot Alice. She wasn't on, so let's rewind. Make sure we move forward a little bit and Alice is with us. Now, fast forward so we get to the other side. Jump and keep going. Kill anything that's in your way and we're just going to go ahead and go over to the spade door. We're at a safe spot so we'll go ahead and save. We don't need to go through the warp zone right now. We've already been down in there. And there's nothing we can do down there at the moment. And we cross. Alright, so last time we were up here and we couldn't do anything because we didn't have the rat, the 
the cat yet. So we're going to go ahead and take the cat. We're going to make this disappear. And we're going to go through the downstairs. And actually, there's that last chest that we were missing. So now we have everything from this board. Pick up Alice. And make the bridge appear again. Now in order to get past here, we need to make it disappear. And keep going. Alright. Remember, roll and attack. Again. What do you want to talk about? The economy? World affairs? How do you feel about the Middle East situation? Alright, now we can go through this door. We're getting closer and closer to the Mad Hatter. <coughs> Anything else? I've never eaten an onion. Right, yeah. You sure you don't want to have sex? Alright, there's nothing that way. So, we keep going. Alright, so here's a Mad Hatter that we can't use yet. So we're going to keep going. Oops, sorry guys. It's hard to hold it in one hand and play in the other. It's not as easy as you think it would be. So that's a warp zone. Actually, I've been on to you all along. I'm a professor doing research on social pathology. You scored 10 on 27 measures of deviancy. That's serial killer territory. All right, we're going to go this way. Oh. And there's another warp zone there. Now, I believe that that is the warp zone that we came in through. So we're going to go this way and we're going to go through this one. Okay, so if we look up here, we see that we want to go in this area and then we're going to come back this way to be able to exit and get out. So we save. And now... We need to bring Alice with us. Alright. Alright, so here's the tea party. And we go through this. And now all of a sudden we have this big, huge battle that we have to fight. This guy's a real bonehead. Um, but it's actually pretty easy to fight him. You're going to do the exact same thing that you do when you're fighting the Red Knights. Get behind him and attack him. He has a little bar block when he comes at you. And what's really great about this board is that there's grass all around so you can load yourself back up
hands and talk about not having sex. And who knows more about that than me? Sorry, bro. I guess DJ's gonna pop your chair. It's okay. All right, we're